Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Anno 1404, the finale, a finale, finale, <laughs> the finale of uh, this little mini-series that we've been uh, playing whilst we wait for Anno 1800 and whilst we uh, move to, whilst I move to Canada, if I'm not all going, we can all come in if you like, I don't mind, it's going to be fun, um, yeah, whilst I move to Canada, so uh, yeah, this is actually also the last ever video I'm going to be recording sat in my office okay this is it this is i'm packing packing up the pc after this one ready for movies this is the last film last video i'm going to be recording in britain apart from a bit of vlogging stuff so for old time sakes i'm going to go and open the door we're going to have a last ever spooky door okay if only some like live stream people will, oh no we know it happens in videos anyway spooky door here we go ready i'm just gonna have to get up and go to the door though That was actually quite a subdued spooky door. I feel like it. I feel like it knows. I feel like it feels sad because it's, it's the end of an era. I hope to God my new place in Canada has a squeaky door like that that we can have a new Canadian spooky door, eh? Um, but yeah. Anyway, what, what the hell are we doing? Oh yeah, question of the day. Question of the day. Um, yeah, because I'm really looking forward to our number eighteen hundred. Uh, it's the only game really on my radar at the moment, apart from a few indie games that I'm sort of keeping an eye on. So I'd like to know what what's next, what's later this year. What what are we looking forward to in the sort of sim tycoon city builder, you know, creative kind of scope? Um, throw you throw your suggestions down in the comments, small or big. There's a chance I've heard of it, but if not, it might be the next big thing on Geekism. So yeah, that's what I want to hear today. Uh, I can't answer it because genuinely, this is the last one I've kind of got on my radar. There's a couple I might mention later on, actually. But yeah, for now, uh, let me know what uh, what sort of city city builder, tycoon, sim kind of creative games are you most looking forward to uh, for the rest of 2019? Of course. Anno 1800 excluded because you know we all know we're going to be loving a bit of Anno. Um, so last thing I want to do is just build out this village a little bit, this city a little bit here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it really. I just want to kind of build the area out a little bit. So I'm going to have to get rid of you. Uh, oh, hold on. There we go. Do this and this and this bit of road. Oh, I can't do the bit of road because we've got nothing there. Okay, we're going to build a uh, marketplace. Where are you? Marketplace. There we go. Which is going to open up this entire area here, which is good. Um, let's do it there. Okay. You bought some stuff. Good lads. Don't take all the stone though, because I'm going to need some of that. Uh, okay. So now we've got that in. Let's get rid of this bit of path here. This bit of path here. Um, pig farm still looks like it's okay, so that's good. Uh, and then next up, we need to get rid of most of this wall. There we go. To there at least. Okay. And then we can put that back in, but bigger. Uh, where is it? It's here, right? City wall. There we go. That's okay. So city wall can't go across rivers, which makes perfect sense, to be honest. So we'll come down to here. Oh. There we go. Into here. And then, oh, no. We, want, we kind of want it to go from... Oops. Go from where it is, right? Because that would be silly otherwise, wouldn't it? There we go. There we go. And then we can just get rid of that bit there. Okay, good. So this is going to be our last sort of village area. So, church takes us up to there. So we need a smaller chapel that's going to cover up this area. So let's... Um, Put you there, so you're gonna be happy with that. Tavern um, doesn't cover us either, so we're gonna do a bit of tavern over here. Uh, who you want to? Oh, is it the next guys up that want the tavern? Is it? Uh, yeah, look at that tavern. Okay, sorry, I thought it was the, the lower down ones. There we go. So we'll have you um, there. 
Okay, and then what else have you got that we can put into place? Uh, arms house, we don't need that. Large statue, no. We c oh, we never have a tournament area. Let's do a tournament area because that looks pretty good fun. Um, tempted to come put that down here, actually, where it doesn't matter so much. But, yeah, let's do a tournament area down here. Because that does look fun, then. There we go. Brings in honor as well, which we don't never have a massive amount of. Uh, carpenter's house. Uh, repairs buildings. Not worried about that because we don't need to seem to repair buildings that often. And that's it. Okay, so here, um, printing house. That's the somewhere we didn't quite get to, unfortunately. Game save. Um, Pier, tannery, pig farm, salt works. Anything here that just helps with that. The church. We've got a big church. We're not going to build another one of those. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. So the rest of this is going to be housing. So. Um, we've got 27 stone, so we can't build all of it in stone, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to go for just some good old-fashioned dirt pathing. We might as well take this around the city walls. Makes the most sense, personally. There we go. Oh, there's one square we're not going to be able to build on there. <gasps> That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Peasant house. So they always start as peasant houses. So we can do a lot of these. All right, that's gonna, this is the plan now, is to kind of fill this whole area up with peasants who then slowly work up to being, um, well, everything else, basically. So let's do this. I kind of like the slightly organic nature. Oh, that's so irritating that we can't do one there, but we can do one there. Okay, so let's do a row right there, and that looks pretty good. And then we'll do uh, a run here. I want to do around the outside of the market. Oh, that's a bit annoying that we can't put any in there, but never mind. We'll do that instead to make it a thing. And then here we can get some, yeah, right up against the market. Okay, why not? There we go. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, God, I thought the game had froze then. Okay, and then we'll go for a run here. Like so. Your people are longing for company. Yes, they need a road to the market, right? That we can do. So, roads to there. Uh, roads here, 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 uh, here. Who else needs roads? You need roads there, don't you? Okay, roads there, there, there. Let's do that and. And you're just a bit of dead space right there in the middle, aren't you? So who hasn't got roads? You haven't got roads. You might have to go. Um, otherwise, you should all be pretty happy, really. Don't tell me we need more fish. Loads of fish. Give me a warehouse. We're out of fish. <gasps> we're out of fish. That's okay. We can build some fish things because you got to think all these all these new people coming in. You know they are going to be they are going to be uh, using up a lot of. Oh, that's a shame. We can't squeeze one in there, but we can do one there. Okay, it's going to let us do it. That'll do. Let's see where else we can get. Where else are we at the coast? Uh, oh, one there. Let's get two there and see if we can join up to here. I think it's probably the best plan there. I mean, that should be more than enough fish there. We've doubled them all up. So, you happy yet? I mean, they're still moving in. But that's a... a that's a big old chunk of uh, land that we've done in there. So these few spaces, let's see. Peasants will move back in here. That's derelicts in there. That's just you're too far out, aren't you? Never mind. Let's do that then. 
Uh, unfortunately, the, there isn't the many options for making stuff look nice like there is in an 1800s because we've got this magnificent square, but we need a lot more patricians than we have. Uh, not loads more, actually, but, but a couple of hundred than we have. So we might get there by the end of this episode, but if not, the only thing we've really got is this large statue. And there's a fountain as well. Fountain, there we go. So we've got a few things we can build. So I'm tempted to kind of put these where we can. That, that's quite nice there, isn't it? Let's get you there. Um, trees. I kind of like I kind of like the fact that these are sort of formed trees. Okay, there we go. We've got a little row of trees there. House is advanced already. That's good. Who who was that? Who popped up then? Citizens. There they are. Hopefully they're getting there with fish. Linen garments we're going to struggle with. There we go. You see all the problem is we've just pre almost doubled the population of the place, to be honest. So we are going to start to run low is on the stuff. Uh, nope. Nope. No interest in it. shouldn't be postponed any longer. Oh, yeah, well, it has been. So what are you going to do about it, mate? Um, village fountain. Is that different to that one? It is. I like it, though. Uh, where can we get a village fountain in here? Nowhere in here is, like, middling, annoyingly. I'll tell you what, let's do that there. There you go. Kids have moved out of the way. Well done. And then you have quite a nice statue. There. And then we can put some pathing in the middle there. Yeah, that's lovely. Let me give you a hand. You can take some stone off me, pal. That's fine. Um, and then there. Oh, yeah, they're all popping up there, look. Citizens moving in. Good stuff. So let's see if we can satisfy their need for linen garments, because we really haven't upped that since very early on. So let's remind ourselves how we do linen gardens. Requires hemp and that produces linen garments. So hemp. These are hemp. No, these are cider. Where's our hemp? They're hemp? No, they're timber. Here, this looks like hemp to me. No, that's cider as well. Where's hemp? Oh. Here, this is hemp. Yeah, so it looks like we need to up our hemp production. It's being made there. Weaver's hut. Okay. Okay, so we need some sort of... Uh, we need a small market building here. Right, this is what we're going to do. No, no, we're not. We're going to do it... Oh, where are we going to do it? Oh, we've got one here. Okay, we've got one here that isn't getting used at all. Okay, so. Construction menu. Hemp plantation. Let's go one. Let's go two. Let's go for the three. There we go. Let's get paths around all of them. There we go. Up to them as well. There we go. And then, should we just auto? Should be plenty of room around all of them. That one might struggle. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We can fix you. Uh, one. Two. Okay, so one, two, three, four. There we go. Sometimes you have to do it yourself because they, uh, they kind of struggle on their own, bless them. They kind of struggle on their own. So they're making hemp, but rather than just making hemp for the storage, we want it to go straight into uh, linen building. So you can do, you can cover those two. And you can cover those two. There we go. And we're going to upgrade you to help them out. There we go. That should hopefully sort out the linen problem that we have. The great, the great linen problem. They're all ready to advance. So you advance whenever you're ready, folks. Okay. I want to find some that have. There we go. Euphoric citizens. Adequately satisfied. Must be 60% satisfied to allow them to advance, though. So hopefully... 
It is just linen you need, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's a big upgrade of people there, so I'm really hoping it works. I kind of love this, how they just like wander through there. Like, we've made a square almost. I think what I might do is now we've got some stone. We'll start stoning some of this area off, because it just looks better, doesn't it? It just looks more of a city, right? I just think it's much more realistic. I never quite finished these city walls, did we look? <laughs> um, how would we do that? We'd have to just put like a marketplace here, wouldn't we? There. Should we put one in just so we can finish off our walls? We probably haven't got enough uh, stone there. We've got 15 stone. Is it enough? Who's blocks? There's nothing happening there. <laughs> there you go. What a finish. <laughs> that looks gorgeous. Uh, what about... How about we... Uh, have we got enough for one of those? We do Oh, no. We're totally out of money. Look at that. We just haven't cared about money at all. Like, we're earning it, but we're just spending it too quick. <laughs> Um, Alright, when the money comes in, I'm going to stick a watchtower there just to get rid of that really rubbish looking uh, bit of wall. Everyone else, you should all be popping up now. You should all be ready. Peasants are ready to advance. Go for it. Advance away, my friends. Advance away. I do think I prefer the later version, the 1800 version of being uh, just telling stuff when to advance. Because I still don't really understand why they won't. They are completely satisfied with everything. Right, it's full. They're euphoric. Sometimes it says euphoric. Sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully that linen garment should be coming in now. Not quite. There you go. So now they're adequately satisfied. So they should they should start shifting into patricians. Um, don't think we've got enough to get them. Moving into the next one because we need these as well, which we never quite got around to. Property that's that's a carpet and security. Oh, books they needed. Sorry, books and security. I've got no idea. Um, oh, but that, that opened up now, has it? 944. Oh, yeah, must have done. Production has been disrupted on the fisherman's hut. Why are you full? Well, you know, happens, doesn't it? Uh, you're all full, aren't you? Can't get to the warehouse quick enough, can they? Let's hope you're out with one of them. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. Go. All the way. Um. So uh, yeah, uh, paper. I don't. I don't think we're anywhere near paper because you need indigo, if I remember rightly, for books. There we go. Printing house. We need. Uh, paper and indigo. Paper uh, requires wood. Oh, so we could do paper mill wouldn't be too bad. Indigo, I'm pretty sure is a, is one of these ones down here. Um, and we don't have it, so we'd have to go and get the resource thing, because if you look at other islands, I'm pretty sure indigo, there you go, yeah, see. We, the only way we could do it is to go and find the, 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 the seeds for indigo and, and sell them and stuff, and we just haven't got time for that one, unfortunately. It's a shame. I'd like to have seen that. Uh, like to have seen the next level because I'm pretty sure there's two more after patricians. There's two more levels of people, which is pretty crazy to think. Um, we had how many did we have in Anno in the beta? There was um, there was co like the common ones, then there was the thingies, and then there was the I think there was three, wasn't there? They went up to the they weren't patricians in it. They were kind of. Like artsy fartsy types, weren't they? Artisans, that's the they're artisans. I don't think it carried on from artisans, but I think there's two more in that as well. Uh, in the full release, that is. Is that one little tiny bit of stone that we haven't done? Yeah. <laughs> um, good stuff. Let's have a look at it. 
The hedges have advanced. We we've done all right there, you know. We we, we I've I've had a lot of fun playing this, you know. I, I, the only the only thing I'm disappointed pointed at is that we just didn't have, um, I just wasn't able to get the feedback. I just want to get a decent screenshot. Hold on, boom. There we go. That's the finale. That's the that's what we've accomplished. Um, yeah, it's it's it, and it's one of the one of my biggest um. Not disappointments, but one of the things I struggle with the most at the moment is that is the is the idea that I can't. I, I'm having to record a lot in the not just because of the move as well, but having to record a lot in the. Um, can we do bridges? Oh yeah, we can. Look at that. That's cute. Um, in the off days and stuff, when Xander's in school and things, and uh, well, in nursery, sorry. Uh, I'm really hoping that when we get to Canada, my my time is going to free up a little bit, and it won't necessarily mean more content, but it'll be a lot more sort of focused content on uh, on feedback and stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, being able to to provide you with that. Um, a lot of birds flying around. Is that a sign of pollution or anything? I know it's that's sort of how birds fly around like landfills, isn't it? I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping we've got fish now. We have 17 fish. Nice. So, come on then. How are we doing over here? A couple of these have started already to become patricians. And you're even tempered. And Joe, I'll take it. But really, there's no reason why all of you shouldn't become patricians, right? Pretty sure they have everything they need to get to. They're still peasants, look. I suppose it's just a time thing. Look over here, look. They're all oh, their patricians even. Ah, right, you you're not gonna be dead happy though, because yeah, right, I was gonna say, because you need to be in, in with here, don't you? But that's fine. Things are getting better, things are amazing. What are you talking about? Look at that amazing city that looks a little bit like a, a guy with a big nose. I think we've uh, I think we've cracked it. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this. I, I I I'm a little annoyed to be honest that I've just always written the not necessarily written the Anno series off because I wasn't really aware it was a thing to be honest. Um, but yeah, I uh, big fan of Anno. These are all citizens and they can't go because they haven't got uh, amusement. So are you telling me that if we throw amusement down here, they'll all start leveling up to patricians as well. Uh, Amusement is a, th a theatre of some sort, was it? You would be wise to go for. I ain't got the money, mate. <laughs> so awkward. Where do we do amusements? Is it here? Tavern satisfies the needs for amusement. There we go. Okay, I tell you what, you can clear off. Oops. Be wise to confirm. That's better. We're not going to be able to afford said tavern now. Unless it lets us do it and just knocks us back a bit on money. No, insufficient gold coins. Oh, we just got rid of somebody's house for no reason. I'm just going to chuck that then there and see if we can just up, up our patrician numbers a little. We can actually get everyone in there if we click it there. Money's coming in, look. We have 200, 300, no, but down to 200. We're making 598, but what, a year, a minute, a second? So I'm never quite sure. Clicking it gives a balance. So we have 2,700 coming in from tax. Uh, we have 2,000 going out for building costs and a few other little bits, ships and military. The beggars aren't really costing us anything, which is good. So we have a balance of 563, neg uh, like, gross. Um, I get, well, no, net, I guess that is, isn't it? Sorry. Um, coming in at the end of the month. But, I mean, what that means, I don't know. I really find it interesting that these are the ones that have, that have leveled up and not the ones that are over here. But I suppose it doesn't really matter because it's the church. May Allah bless you. I really didn't think it with those, those were the ones that would... Yeah, good. Took some flour. No worries, pal. I didn't think it'd be those ones were the ones that leveled up. I'm just wondering that we can see, at least we could see what the next ones were. Although, no, we're not going to get it, are we? Because we're not going to be able to get property or security. But we will be able to see, perhaps, a magnificent square. Let's have a look. 1136. 
1190. Ah, oh, we'll see the magnificent square and the debtor's prison at least. That's be that. That's a, that sounds like a decent, solid way to finish off, right? I'm tempted not to build anything there then because I want to see. I want to have the money for the buildings. Can you tell me what they're going to cost. No. Literally, like one or two more patrician houses popping up. There's a nice little square there. Look, look at that dead posh square of patrician houses. We have two st Is nobody making stone? Seems like there's very little stone coming in. And hanging around. We've got two currently. The reason I'm asking is because I want to know whether or not... I never actually noticed before. Oops. Whether or not... Uh, Cobblestone Street. Does it, does it join... Not quite. I was wondering whether the stone outside the houses joined up there to make like a you know a full sort of platform. Uh, it does not, but it's not a bother, I suppose. But we're nearly there, look. One one five two. See what if it lets us put that house, it will put it in because I'll be I and just see how much of a difference it makes. No, we haven't got the stone either. Yeah, you know, the actual numbers. I didn't know if like it let you go into the negatives a little with the money. Um, but yeah, we've got no stone anyway, so never mind. Tell you what, I'll leave it running for a little bit, and if I have the stuff I need for those couple of buildings there, we'll we'll put them down before we finish. Right, okay, we've got the partition partitions, <laughs> partitions in. They're even tempered. All right, they're even tempered. Um, but we have those last couple of buildings that we can build for them now. Unfortunately, one of them isn't a building. It's just a really nice path. So here's me thinking, it would be a, it would be a lovely, um, uh, like big square that we could place. But it isn't. It's, it, but it is a really nice path. It literally just looks good, and I think it beautifies. Yeah, I don't know whether that actually stands for anything as a, as an actual thing, but it looks this? good. Or have you done uh, some? No. Are you making fun of me? Yeah, bye. Uh, the other one, though, we have is this debtor's prison, which looks after one of the uh, the major things we need. So we're going to clear out a little area for this. Um, there we go. And then we're going to place it in well, well, there. What strange fish have we reeled in here? Yeah, <laughs> look at this. It like, looks like the sort of place that a, a princess is trapped up. Oh, there's the there's the gallows. Look at that! Wow. Okay. And what that does is it's just a building with a with a scope around it, and that means that these will now be happy for security. So the thing we didn't really get ready to do was making paper. And if we'd have made paper, we could have upgraded them to whatever the next uh, level is. But unfortunately, I've just I've just run out of time. As I said before, this is the last video I'm recording here in merry old England uh, before we pack up and leave for Canada. Um, I've had a blast in this game. I've really enjoyed it actually, and uh, it's made me really super excited for Anno 1800. That uh, as you're watching this, should be coming out in a couple of days and hopefully I'll be in Canada and all my new PC parts will have come and uh, and we'll be able to dive straight in. If there's a lot of there's a lot of if whens and buts in there but we'll see what happens. Um thank you so for watching. So the one the games I'm looking forward to this year or if they're this year or not, I don't know. The question before I asked the uh, question of the day was what's what games are you looking forward to? Um I'm really looking forward to a little indie uh, a couple of indie dev titles actually. One is called uh what's it called it's it's an underground simulator a subway simulator and i can't for the life of me think what it's called oh that's gonna really bug me but that's one i'm looking at <laughs> um where you build a you build a subway station and, and subway network and then the other one is there's one called hotel magnate which is a, a, you build a hotel like a, a tycoon a hotel game that's looking quite promising as well um yeah those two are definitely on the radar and there's a few businessy ones as well there's one called something like tycoon business tycoon or something oh i don't know there's loads anyway i'd love to sh uh, for you to share ones that you're looking forward to as well uh, if you can please in the comments that'd be great thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed 
enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe uh, thoughts queries suggestions pop them down below as always uh, like I say no feedback on the game because one it's the last episode and two I'm recording this from the past uh, thanks to all of our patrons they make these videos possible through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism and don't forget to check out our affiliate links to you get yourself some cheap games, including the upcoming Anno 1800 uh, and lots of other goodies as well. And you'll support the channel whilst you're doing it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.